Howdy fellers. I'm tired. It's been a long day at work. I've been pr pr procrastinating at fixing something. Let's talk about it. On these, uh, this is an 01 360 Magnum motor in this Dodge. This uh, heater hose pipe that comes out of the water pump is real bad about leaking on these. Uh, this one, the tab actually come off of it that supports it. And uh, I put an, I put another O-ring on it and stuck it back in there, zip tied it in place. Whatever, it wasn't going to stay. These factory pipes are junk and the ones that come with the new water pumps are junk. So I went and picked up a Dorman brand. And uh, I'm fixing to attempt to fix this the right way because I'm tired of messing with it. Now, you can't just take this and shove it in there because uh, that hole where it goes doesn't really have a chamfered hole. So what you do, or what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a step bit and I'm going to chamfer the edge of that hole just a little bit. And... Uh, that way, maybe I won't tear the O-ring up when I put it in. See, I've just, I've just got that bit on a nut driver, and I'm just going to turn it and slightly chamfer the outside edge of that just a little bit. Doesn't take much. It's aluminum. Doesn't take much pressure. See a couple of chips fall in there. It doesn't matter if chips fall in the water pump. It's just aluminum. It's not going to hurt anything. Trust me, there's more than a few aluminum chips floating around in your cooling system. Okay. I'm going to say that's good enough for that. Yeah, it's changed pretty nicely. Now I'm going to take a battery cleaner brush. Should have took the belt off, but I'm going to stick that down in there and I'm going to clean the bore. Because that other pipe, uh, what I do with it? This other pipe had eh, a little bit of corrosion on it. There might be a little bit of corrosion in there. You know, anytime you mix two dissimilar metals like aluminum and steel, a little corrosion tends to set up. So I'm going to clean that bore just a little bit. Try to at least. Hmm. I'd prefer to rotate it, but I don't really have room. You should take the belt off and do it with a drill, but I'm going to say that's good enough. Now, I don't have any grease out here. I need to put a little bit of grease on that right there. So. I'm going to be a redneck. I'm going to pull my dipstick out. Get a little bit of oil off the dipstick. Put on that O-ring. Because it really doesn't take a lot. And I'm going to put this new tube in there and be real careful putting it in. Now, yep, I'm going to have to take the bolt completely out. I thought I might could do it with a retaining bolt, but it's giving me the improper angle there. I 
I'd see that bore. It looks good and clean this time. You know, it probably wouldn't leak before, but uh, well, that retainer tab broke off. That tube was going too deep, too deep into the water pump and letting it leak. And I had a big zip tie run around it trying to hold it because I've been working and I just hadn't had time to make this little repair. I'm not even going to edit this video. This is going to be completely raw. And a bunch of my future videos are going to be completely raw. Fact of being is, looking back through my videos, my videos that have been viewed the most were raw, unedited. Oh boy, do I got a problem. That tab doesn't line up with the bolt hole properly. I'm going to make it though. I'm leaning over the battery. I guess I'm going to ruin this shirt. I've got that started back. I'm going to tighten it up and put my hose back on. I'm going to get the phone off the mount here and show you what you're up against. See, you got that mounting tab. And that down there is where the O-ring goes in. And if that pipe sinks too far into the water pump, it won't seal. And vice versa, if it's too far out, it won't seal. It's got to be in there just right. But uh, if you're having a problem with a water pump leaking on a 318 or a 360, I recommend you go to the internet and you buy this Dorman part number 56399, this water pump inlet tube. And uh, clean that up and chamfer that hole. You could just use a piece of sandpaper and chamfer the hole and clean it up. That's all it's important. And fix it the right way because the factory tube's not any good. And I'm sure this was a replacement tube, not OEM. They're not any good either. Dorman's always good stuff. It's always been good to me. I'll give you a little view of this truck here. This is this is a four-wheel drive 2500. It's a it's an actual 92,000 mile truck that I use for work. Uh, it's a municipality truck. That's the reason it's got such low miles on it. But uh, it's four-wheel drive. Interior's fairly decent. Bed's full of junk, of course. Grade stakes and everything. You know, it's a straight truck, though. Simulator missing off the front end right here. I've got to put a headlight bulb in there. I mean, I'm, I'm going to put a new... I'm going to put a new headlight in there because that one... The headlight bulb blew and stained the inside of the... It stained the inside of the composite headlight right there, and there's moisture in there. Anyway, all this was about is, if you got that little water leak that I had that aggravates you, and you have to put water in every three or four days, you can buy that inlet tube separately. It'll cost you half as much as a water pump, but it's a better inlet tube. So, there you go. Hope this works for you. Thanks for watching.